along with Ming Laba. พระเอกจีซูโรกูชิมอมบาเรอตินโดกาเจนโรเตอุเซียอีดรคายกานิซาปิโรเจนโรเตอุเซียมะเซียคายเจนโรปีนัยมาเลเซียวิญญาณตา
but here you all are awake, and I, 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 I would be uh, trying not to sleep, okay? At the pulpit, okay? Make sure you all are, you all are awake, and I also will be trying to awake, okay? Thank you. Uh, this is uh, the country that you are from. This is your original country where your parents brought here. You may be born in America, but your blood, okay, your identity is from Chile, maybe from Myanmar. So you need to be always considered in your life to pray for, to help. When you are grown, when you are educated, when you finish your education at work, you may be sometime when the country is rest well and uh, come back to the normal then you may be able to visit and help our people there. Nowadays, they all are in, at war, okay, at war. They all are suffering. They can't sleep well. They, they, they can't eat well. They even uh, some of the churches been burned down. They have no churches, no buildings to worship. So imagine you have the blessed church buildings. You have the blessed parents and brothers and sisters here, okay? This is a great opportunity for you to remember the Lord in your life, okay? So just I will go through and then later on I will want to uh, share the Bible passage, okay? This is a short biography and my ministry, my ministry in uh, maybe 38, almost 39 years in the ministry. I came to know Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior in 1979, first April, okay? Not the April full day, okay? So I came to know Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. I came from the background of animism, one who worshiped spirits of the mountains, one who worships spirits of the river, the ocean, and the forest. I used to be a young man, even though I was a good hunter, okay? <laughs> I, I'm good at shooting. <laughs> I'm good at, you know, uh, using the arrow and bow and arrow, okay? Uh, you know, by God's grace. Uh, in that kind of background, I was. And also, I came back to a Buddhist monastery. I was growing up in Buddha's temple. I was trained in Buddhism, culture, and scripture, teaching, okay? So, I against Christianity very much in my whole young life. But hearing the gospel of Jesus Christ said, Jesus loves me, he died and he paid for my whole karma. Karma means sins. You cannot escape from your sins. You cannot es escape from your aging. You are growing. You cannot escape from aging. You cannot escape from pain and sufferings. You cannot escape from death. One day, we all are going to die. Whether you are young or old, doesn't matter. The dead is at the door. But the good news is Jesus Christ is at the door knocking. Just now we, the children sung, you know, the, the, the song I heard from knock, knock, knock. You know? So Jesus Christ is knocking the door of your heart. Open and receive him as your Lord and Savior. That's how you are saved. And you are going to be saved from eternal hell condemnation. So this is my short story, how I came to know Jesus Christ from my background. I have obtained my BA degree in history in Rangoon University in 1982 to 87. And then I continued to become an evangelist in the campus, college, universities. The Lord has been using us, using me, as an evangelist to reach out to the unreached people, non-believers in Rangoon and all over across the country. Thank God, the Lord has saved a lot of people. And also we have planted 14 churches. You imagine one church to be, as a pastor, to be a, a church is not easy. 14 churches, imagine. From there now, Altogether, 100 over churches out. Sometime, 
uh, our MYC family, they used to come to America and they would be telling you also. Chisamong will be giving testimony and playing guitar, you know, you might have seen him as well. That all are from our church. And we have been reaching many, many lives, especially drug addict young people, alcoholic, alcoholic people, young people. But God changed, transformed their lives, okay? So, thank God I became as an evangelist youth pastor and also a mission pastor for the Upper Burma. And now in Mandalay, we have a big church. Started with zero. When we do go, when we do preach, when we do teach the word of God, there are many lives been changed and transformed. Why don't you all witness about Jesus Christ to others, the love of God, the grace of God, the mercy of God, and that will make a big difference. In order to reach out to the nations, with the love of God, you are to be a disciple of Christ. Before you go out, make sure you become a disciple. A disciple means one who believes, one who trusts in Jesus Christ, and one who follows Jesus Christ according to his teachings. There are many churches, there are many so-called Christians, false teachings, false churches. There are a lot of churches around the world, in America mostly, I think. Therefore, we are to be rooted and grounded in God's Word, the Holy Bible, the true doctrines of God. We are always uh, make sure that we are rooted and grounded from the Word of God as well as the Orthodox teaching. The Bible is the Word of God. That's why we stand. You are to know that. We don't believe the Bible becomes God's Word. We don't believe that. The Bible contains the Word of God. We don't believe that. The Bible, can you say with me, the Bible is the Word of God. We are to be rooted and grounded in the Word of God. The Word of God is living and powerful for your daily life for eternity. So, just short you can just read it on that. And later on, I wanted to study the Word of God in Hebrew and Greek especially. I wanted to study, so the Lord helped me and sent me to India, Bangalore, Asian Christian Academy, Evangelical Theological Seminary, which is run by Dallas Theological Seminary in USA. That's the big branch in Asia where I graduated and earned my THM. Thank God I continue to uh, serve the Lord along with my wife Susan Cho. She belongs to Kachin and I belong to Chin. Mean that, okay? I'm from the West and she's from the East. Thank God, God brought together to become one. Amen. To become one, right? Don't fall asleep, okay? <laughs> Not to become two. <laughs> to become one, okay? So, uh, on then, many churches, many Bible classes, many Bible colleges involving in the ministry. And then, continue to study my doctorate in Union University, Jackson, Tennessee. I specialize in Bible exposition and leadership at Union University, Tennessee. So, by God's grace, uh, we have been uh, establishing many uh, Bible fellowships. We call it Myanmar Christian Fellowships. This is the, uh, the church, the Anglican church in Pulau Pinang. After 15 years of anniversary, I was invited every year actually. We had no time to go and participate, but at this particular 15 and 15 years of anniversary, I went back and preached. The, the church was full. In those days, Pastor Kai and Brother uh, uh, Sokabosi and Saintin, huh, this church been, even the believers of this church, the Anglican brothers and sisters, they were so small group. But when we come as a Burmese, we fill it up and we have other places as well, okay? Just to show around, 
So this is the Church of Singapore in Singapore. Even though Church of Singapore is a charismatic church, they are very good at reaching out to the unreached people, discipling, they are good. So they have given us a place to worship. So we started and people are packed with every Sunday, packed. The first service starts from 11 to 12.30, packed. So we start noon service, 2 to 3, packed. Okay? And third service starts at 5 p.m. to 6.30 then also coming up 30 to 50. And at night, 8.30 to 11 p.m., another international Zoom church ministry. Fellowship, Bible fellowship, we call it. So God has been using all these. If we were not in Singapore, you will not see this single soul being saved and disciples. So I just want to show that how the Lord has blessed the ministry. When we go out to share, when we witness Jesus Christ to others, don't always be sit back and relaxed. You are a safe person in order to serve others. Bring Jesus Christ, which you have, who, who you have, bring Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ to others. Why not? That's how we are going to reach the all nations. People have no place standing, worshiping. I think here you have enough seats. When I sat here, I was almost all asleep, okay? <laughs> because good, very comfortable, okay? But this time is, this moment, particular time is my sleeping hour, you know, at midnight. So you will see many other pictures, but the, there are many, many people are coming, okay? We have been impacting and helping leaders of the churches, youth leaders, elders, deacons, pastors, all churches, the Chin Baptist Church, Chin Baptist Churches, Lai Mi, Falam, Li Su, Po Koren. We help. That's how God is working in us, through us, the Spirit of God works in us, not we do, not we serve. We are, we become God's instruments. Uh, <clears throat> can you show me your uh, right hands? Uh, how many fingers you have? Five fingers, okay? Uh, your left hands, five fingers. Is there anyone who have uh, six fingers? <laughs> okay, so now we start, okay? Five fingers, you you do like me. Uh, we start from the little fingers, okay? That is hearing God's word. What's that? Hearing God's word. <clears throat> when you hear God's word, you are blessed. You are blessed. Our ring fingers, okay? Uh, uh, that represents hearing, reading the Bible. What is that? Reading. First is what? Hearing. hearing. Okay? You don't go to your school, you don't hear God's word. You don't hear Jesus Christ. You will hear God's word in the church. You will hear God's word as you open your Bible and read in your second. Okay? The third one, is study. What is that? Study. Not only hearing, not only reading, but what? Studying. Wow. Studying make you understand. Make you grow in your life. Make you mature. And what is this? Index finger, right? <laughs> Index finger, we normally, what we do, if somebody asks you, oh, where to go? You show directions. And sometimes you point out someone, this is your fault. This is not me, your fault. <laughs> okay? Pointing at others. But at one time you're pointing at others, 
How many fingers point, pointing at you? Wow. Make sure, you know, don't ever try to do that. But these pointing fingers, speaking about memorizing the Bible. What is that? Memorize. We should not be, see, here children, you know, uh, kids, they were reciting the Bible. So good. So good. You are blessed. Okay, start again. Hearing God's word. Then, reading God's word daily, okay? Then, studying. Then, memorizing. Then, thumbs. Our thumbs are when we do our hands as a prayer symbol, our thumbs up close to where? Your heart. Right? Can you do that? Okay. Your heart. Near to your heart. That is, you are to meditate. What is that? Meditation on God's word. Okay, can you all please stand up and uh, let's say together, okay? I want you to uh, always remember your daily life if you want to grow in Christ and if you want to be blessed, if you want to be success in all lives. The Bible is wonderful, powerful. So let's say together, hearing God's word. Then, reading God's word. Then, studying God's word. Then, memorizing God's word. Then, meditating God's word. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You are so excellent. Thank you. Okay, we will continue. Okay, the pictures I would just want to highlight. Okay, some of the places have been many, and God has been so good, so great, even outing, preaching, and teaching, and all. Okay, there are so many people, and... Uh, uh, this time, when we come to, uh, again, our visa is visiting visa, okay? If somebody asks us, uh, asks us, visiting visa, we call it. This time we visit to America, it's the fourth time. And this time we were invited by um, Christian Discipleship International Directors in uh, Greenville, South Carolina, from the First Baptist American churches to preach in their churches. We were invited. Thank God for that. You know, they used to come and preach us. Now we <laughs> we come to preach them. Okay? And Donald M. Jackson was amazing guy, amazing apostle of Christ. We can say that. Okay? He had uh, published and translated into our Burmese uh, Bible. So we were so blessed. So therefore, this time we are blessed for these, our brothers and sisters in America churches. The second invitation we receive from is Union University from Jackson, Tennessee, where I graduated my doctorate, and one of my professors invited me to preach in his church, okay? So for that purpose, and then another one is Bikana, America. Bikana means Burmese Christian Churches Association of North America. And now East America also they have, so we will be participating in Buffalo. Okay, Buffalo. I think maybe 17, 14, 15, 16, 17 and all. We are going down there. Another one is in Boston, uh, where we, were, we will be having uh, International Myanmar Mission Workshop. Okay, so that's how we come over. So as you see all the pictures, uh, Zoom meeting also, 400 people international. We started from COVID-19, 2021, okay? From then we started this Zoom ministry for our country, Myanmar. In those days, because of, block, because of lockdown, no one is able to uh, do um, funeral services, wake services. So that's why we had started this Zoom ministry. From then onward, you know, uh, many pastors also went to be with the Lord and many church members been, went to the Lord. So we had this uh, Zoom ministry. From then on until now, we uh, couldn't stop, you know. It's continually. Uh, 
doing, ministering to many international, our Burmese churches from Germany, from uh, Denmark, Japan, America, Australia, then Singapore, and Thailand, Myanmar, and Malaysia. So our ministry is big, as well as we have a ministry in Mobi. Okay, if you have your relatives around in Mobi and Legu, they may visit to us as well. Mobi, at Mobi we have pastoral leadership training center and discipleship training center. So you are going to see some of the picture as well. See, uh, some of our uh, discipleship training is two years program and many have been graduated, okay? Uh, from many churches, from Methodist, from Presbyterian, from AOG, Assembly of God, okay? From Baptist Church, yeah. I, I, I belong to MYC, okay? You know MYC? Myanmar Young Crusaders, right? MYC, Soboy Mu, and uh, David Yomo, and uh, now Chisam Mao, and you know, you may know that. That's my family. And uh, we belong to EBC as well. You know EBC? Evangelical Baptist Church, okay? You may know that, okay. So there are many uh, places. Uh, now our church in uh, Mobi, you, you will see, started from zero. The one who, the, the one who, uh, the lady, the one who was selling bananas, house to house. And from her, the first converted lady, banana seller. From there, we started our church. See, you can see. The middle, the one guy who sitting uh, in, in the middle, one is a pastor, Sing Twin. We call it, U Sing Twin. We call it, he is ex senior monk, a current person. Okay? Thank God. So, Christian Discipleship, Singapore, Two years to to make disciples of all nations. To make disciples of all nations. That's a commission. That's commandment. We each and every one of us to be obeyed. Our Lord Jesus Christ's last commission. Okay? So, in order to make disciple, first of all, you and I to be first disciple of Christ. In order to become a disciple of Christ, you are to believe Jesus Christ's death, burial, and resurrection, and ascended to heaven. And one day he is coming back. So, that's how we are to be, uh, become a disciple of Christ. One who follows Christ, one who obeys Christ. Disciple means a learner. A learner. We are learner. And so we follow Jesus Christ. We follow according to the Bible. Okay? So that's uh, uh, the most important for making disciples. The second one, I think, uh, according to the Bible, when we are empowered by the Holy Spirit, we cannot sit back. I cannot just shut my mouth and sit back. I will open definitely because this is the good news. This is the salvation of God. This is the forgiveness of God. This is a life changing forever. I want to impact my life around my friends at home, in school, in the community, in the nation. How do you do that? By the power of the Holy Spirit. Not by the power of your flesh. 
So that is very important. So one more five fingers comes here. Can you follow me? One. Okay? This one is, we are regenerated by the Holy Spirit. Can you say with me? We are regenerated by the Holy Spirit. We are made in Christ new people. We are new in Christ. Okay? If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. That's what the Bible says. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 and 18. We are regenerated. We are born again believers. If you are not born again, you will not get into heaven. That's very clear uh, preaching of Jesus Christ. That is very important. Dear children, dear parents, we are to be born again. Believers. Second, okay? Second comes. We are, can you say with me? We are indwelled by the Holy Spirit. Uh, and the moment of your salvation, at the moment of accepting Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ sent his Holy Spirit to you, in your heart, in your life. Jesus indwells in us. That is very important. At Pentecost, the Holy Spirit was sent by Jesus Christ to glorify Jesus Christ, to take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the end of the world. That is the mission you have and the mission that we have. Make sure your church, all believers in this church, have in mind that bringing the gospel of Jesus Christ not only to our Jerusalem, our family, but also Judea, but also Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Okay, the third one. That's, we are baptized by the Holy Spirit. Can you say it with me? We are baptized into the body of Christ by the Holy Spirit. The first is what? We are regenerated. We are new people. We are making... Hey, I used to... I, I, I would say good or not. I, I, I don't much like China made. Do you agree? China made. The battery. Just one night, one overnight I use, the next time just spoil. But made in Germany, wow, so good. Made in Japan, wow, so good. Made in America, wow, so good. <laughs> Do you know? Hey, one time I, 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 I was given by a friend, wow, he comes back from America. He gave me a suit, okay? I was so happy, American suit, so I was happy. And the next day, I check in and out. Wow, make in Myanmar. Wow. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, the quality seems to be good because it's export, okay? So, but import <laughs> again, and we, you know? So, thank God for that. Even cameras, you know? Uh, in that way they make we are made in Jesus Christ as new people, heavenly people we call it, forgiven people. We are saints, the Bible says. So uh, first is regenerated by the Holy Spirit. Second is indwelled by the Holy Spirit. Where is the Holy Spirit now? In us. Can you say me? With me? In us. The Holy Spirit's in us. Therefore, don't ask the Holy Spirit to come down. Please. Okay? The Holy Spirit is already sent at the Pentecost day. Okay? Now we don't ask the Holy Spirit to come down. There are many churches, many preachers. I think they don't really uh, divide, divide the truth, divide the Bible. The Holy Spirit is already sent. Whoever believes in Him, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit indwells in us. The Holy Spirit is in us, okay? And the third, <coughs> he, we are baptized by the Holy Spirit into the body of Christ, okay? We, therefore, we become one family. We are baptized by the Holy Spirit. That means the Holy Spirit place you into the body of Christ, unseen body of Christ. Now local, in local churches, now we see each other. Before that, we are placed in the body of Christ, which is universal church. This is local church. And the fourth thing, 
We are sealed by. Can you say with me? We are sealed by the Holy Spirit. Hey, if you see the seal sign, make sure this is a belong to the government or belong to the company or belong to someone else. The seal, the sealing by the Holy Spirit. We are sealed by the Holy Spirit. That means we are secure for our salvation. We are secure for our daily life. We are secure. And the last, the last would be, we are to be filled with, can you say with me? We are to be filled with the Holy Spirit. That means we are to be controlled by the Holy Spirit. Don't ever control yourself. That means, uh, particularly and practically, we control ourselves, our tongue and all. That's good. But sometimes we can't control beyond our control. Many things happen. Not good. Bad things happen. Therefore, we ask the Lord, we ask the Holy Spirit to control us. Amen? I don't hear him well. <laughs> Yeah, we are to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Then she know we know God, you know, a deep peace in Then she know we know God, command the general, you know, you know, a tema, you know, be. Then she know we know God, you know, go, seek a be. Then she know we know God, you know, go, put it some be. Then she know we know, ne, ne, sin, be, why, yeah, me, look on it. It's a command as well. When you read the book of Matthew, chapter 28, the last chapter of the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 16 through 20. You will see the word first in verse 16. You will see worship. The disciple worship Jesus Christ. A disciple, the believer. We are so much focused on earthly things. <clears throat> and also we are so much of focusing the blessings of God. But we, we should change our mindset that, wow, today, because of the message, we are to focus the message of God, the commission of God, that we are to go. <clears throat> By going, we preach, we teach, people will respond in believing Jesus Christ. Then we continue to teach them to become the disciple of Jesus Christ. Not our disciple, but Jesus' disciples. Okay? So that would be our second uh, message. Worship is very important. Personal worship, family worship. Do you have what? Do you have it? Personal worship. <clears throat> we call it corporate worship. Now we are corporate worship. Individual worship may be different times. Worship, our corporate worship is very punctual at the time, okay? I, I'm, I'm also going to finish uh, our uh, sharing our message. That is very important, worship. Then second, by going. N not going, you can't make disciples of all nations. <laughs> you are sitting at home, you are sitting at your pew, you are sitting at your place, you can't make any person to become disciples. <laughs> you have to go by going. By teaching and preaching, by baptizing, we are to make, making disciple is the main verb and the main message of this passage. And, and uh, the third may be, teach them all the commandments that Jesus Christ, teach, teach them all means the whole Bible, not you want one of the passage, one of the books of the Bible. You teach all from Old Testament to New Testament, from Genesis to Revelation. Make sure if you are a disciple of Christ, witness Jesus Christ, how he is good, how he transformed your life. You have a lot of testimonies. You have many experiences. In your study, do well. In your study, 
you can share your faith to others because Jesus loves them. Jesus saved them as well. Okay? So for at last, I want to make is that when we become a Christian, I came to Jesus Christ in 1979 and until now 39 years, almost 39 years. I think already 39, I think, because April is over, okay? Within 39 years, thousands of thousands been witnessed by me. I'm not boasting, but this is the desire, the passion that God has given me. The motivation is very important. In your school, you are to have a good mot motivation. In your school, you are to have a good mentor. Uh, in, your, in your school, you are to have a good advisor. Maybe your parents, your brothers and sisters. In the church, the pastor would be able to help you. Grow, let us grow in the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us mature in Jesus Christ. Let us go out and touch the lives of others by the love of God, by the grace of God, by the peace and joy from the Lord. There will be many lives awaiting us to respond to Jesus' calling. Sometimes we sing, send the light, send the light. You are the lights of the world. You are the salts of the world. God bless each and every one of us. Thank you.